circuits. In this video, we will see how to design a push down automata for A raised to N, B raised to M, where N is greater than M and N, M are get greater than or equal to 0. Means condition is N is greater than M. And also, we have to show with the help of empty stack as well as final state. In previous video, we already saw how to design push down automata for A raised to N, B raised to M where both A and B are having the same power and shown the detailed explanation of machine. So here how to handle this language. So we will see here. So for this example cases will be only epsilon should be accepted because n comma m is greater than or equal to 0. So epsilon is also accepted. Then n is greater than b n is greater than m so a raised to 4 b raised to 2 this is also accepted because n is greater than m then only a raised to 2 is also accepted because b means m power can be a 0 that means there won't be any b character so a raised to 2 should be accepted means the, these three things we need to accept then a raised to 2, B raised to 2, A raised to 2, B raised to 2. This should not be accepted because N is always greater than M is given. So, this string should be rejected by our PDA. Then A raised to N, B raised to 2 or this should not be a greater than this one. So, this string is also rejected. Only B, only B is also not possible. So, these are the cases which should not accepted by given PDA. But these three things should be accepted. So, we will see how to design a push down automata for this example. So, here first we will take initial state that is a Q0 as per logic. Same logic we will try to uh, show here. So, this is my stack which is having Z0. So, we will take first A, 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 B, B. This is my string and epsilon. So, first A we will push into the stack. Then second A push into the stack. Third A push into the stack. And for B we will pop one by one. So, same way we will show the transitions here. Means incoming character is A. In stack there is Z0 push into the stack means push A into the stack. So, string will become A Z0. For next A incoming character is A. In stack is A. So, push into the stack. A A means for second A, third A this, this transition will work. Now for next B means incoming character is B. At that time in stack there is A then pop. Here for pop operation we will change the transition from Q0 to Q1. So from Q0 we will change the transition from one state to another state. Incoming symbol is B. In stack is A. Pop it. So here we are going to show new state Q1. For this B also, incoming is B, in stack is A, pop it. So, here we will, incoming is B, in stack is A, pop it. We will do this operation. Let us consider if there are 5 A and here 4 B. So, we will pop 4 times. So, using this transition, it will pop all A's. Later on, there is a epsilon. There is a epsilon, but in stack there is is A. So, here for all A in stack, we will pop the A's. So, incoming is epsilon, in stack is A, then pop it. That means, if there are 5 A and only 2 bits, at that time in stack, there will be 3 A remaining. At that time, every epsilon, we will pop this A. Means, this string is accepted because it is Following the condition n, power of n is greater than power of m. 
for epsilon we will pop the a now next here we will pop it now for next means here number of epsilons are there for next epsilon for next epsilon in stack there is z0 pop that z0 also that means it is a condition of empty stack it is a empty stack condition means we have popped that z0 also from the stack means from these transitions this case is handled a a raised to 5 b raised to 2 like this means this is greater than this one now what about second condition this is my first condition means this a power is greater than b power second condition is what only epsilon is present my string is only epsilon empty string because n comma m is greater than 0 so this string should be accepted by push down automata means incoming string is epsilon at that time in stack there is a z0 we have popped it means incoming string is epsilon in stack there is a z0 then empty stack condition how we can show it if incoming string is epsilon in stack there is z0 keep that z0 as it is for this transition and then for next epsilon pop it means in this way we can show it now third case is what if only there are a raised to 2 means there won't be any b characters so how it will work whether this pda is sufficient a raised to 2 a raised to 2 string so we will check so initially in stack there is z0 first a we will push again there we will push this a z0 this transition will work now for next a this transition will work now after this means a a epsilon for next epsilon in stack there is a means incoming character is epsilon but in stack there is a, a. so this is not possible with this transition we need to show it so how we can show it means incoming transition is epsilon in stack there is a, a. then pop it pop that a means for incoming epsilon pop that a means continuously there are epsilon so next epsilon again pop it so this later on this will happen so this transition is already present so for epsilon pop it then next epsilon then pop it so in this way we can show the push down automata now we will check how this will work for a raised to 3 b raised to 2 this is first then we will check for a raised to 2 and for epsilon also okay these are the three cases which should be accepted using this push down automata a raised to 3 b raised to 2 so first time a raised to 3 push a a will push z0 it is in stack push a then push a push a three time it will execute so stack will have a a a z0 now we will move for b here to q1 so pop it pop it two time for this b it will pop now next is epsilon for this epsilon in stack is a so pop it next is epsilon in stack is z0 pop it so empty so this string is accepted okay what about this a raised to 2 a a first a push into the stack second a push into the stack okay now next is epsilon so for epsilon in stack is a pop it so pop it first a then for next epsilon there is a a present so pop it and later on there is z0 so empty stack is open so this string is accepted and from this transition only we are reaching to uh, empty stack so this is also accepted so this is done now we will check about a raised to 2 b raised to 3 this should not be accepted a raised to 2 b raised to 3 so a a b b b and then epsilon so push first a second a okay using this now for this b this transition pop a pop b for this two now z0 is already there so for b 
incoming is B, but four Z zero for four Z zero. Incoming character is B in stack Z zero. This is not present in the transition, so this string is rejected. Now we will see only B raised to two because. We are going to check. So this is the first condition which should be rejected. So rejected by our PDA. Now second case B raised to two. So incoming is incoming is B in stack is Z zero. Incoming is B in stack is Z zero. So there is no transition present on incoming B letter and stack Z zero. So this is automatically rejected. so this is the final push down automata for this example using empty stack now how we can show for the final state so same way we will write here but just we will take one more state that will be our final state so here a z0 push operation now for this we are going to take new state means epsilon keep z0 as it is don't pop it so that is a no operation just change the state that will be my final state just change the final state so this is the and for epsilon here we can show like this means only epsilon is there in stack is z0 keep z0 as it is means that string is also accepted so in this way these are the pda for using empty stack and the final state and we have also checked acceptance condition for this a is to 3 b is to 2 only a is to 2 is possible epsilon is possible and rejection cases means b is to 2 only b string is not possible then length of b is greater than a this is also rejected so these are cases also we handle using this push down automata thank you if you like this video click on like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel click on bell button to get notification of new video thank you